Hello everybody, this is the Irish Gamer Kane. Going to you with my first tips video for Fallout New Vegas. I'll show you how to make some money here in this game. Uh, if you're having some trouble reading the on and you want to make some caps, I'm going to show you some things to sell, some places you can go to make some money. Uh, don't have a lot of time, so let's get this moving. Starting off, 10mm pistol. One of the most common, besides the 9mm. 9mm is not worth much though. 10 millimeter on the other hand, as you can see, worth 749 caps. So if you get them, even in poor condition, pick, fix them up and uh, sell them. Submachine guns. 10 millimeter is the best. Coming in at 1300 caps in good condition. 9 millimeter. And it's only worth half as much at 650. Um, but a lot of the fiends and stuff carry them. So get them, sell them. You know, fix them up and then sell them. Baseball bats, 150 caps in decent condition. They're easy to find earlier in the game. Um, so if you can get a couple of them, fix them up, sell them. You know, good caps, 150 caps, not bad. Bumper sword, another good one. You don't really find a lot of these though, so you know if you get it early on, might as well get rid of it because they're they're a pain to use. Caravan shotgun this is one of the guns you find the most pretty much in the game. Uh, a lot of the raiders and stuff carry them. Uh, they're not worth a ton, but as far as you know, weight to value goes, uh, good condition. 400 caps, three pounds. You're gonna find a lot of them. So sell them. Combat knife, another good one. Only weighs a pound. Not really easy to find, but they're worth a lot of caps. Uh, about 300, 350 in good condition. Cowboy repeater. Not easy to find early in the game, but later. They're easier and they're much better to sell. I mean, look at this one in this condition, it's 370. Uh, other ones like the Varmint Rifle, I don't even break 100 in perfect condition. Frag grenades, the best grenades to sell. Because uh, there's more of them. I mean, I got like 50 in my, my box here at my house. And they're worth 150 each. So if you want to make some quick money, you don't really use grenades very much because you're afraid you're going to blow yourself up, then sell them. Because... Good caps, a lot of ammo, or other things, better armor. Same with the mines. I never use mines really, so sell 75 caps per, and they only weigh half, half a pound each. Grenade launcher. This is the best one out of the grenade ones, besides the grenade machine gun, of course. But the grenade rifle, uh, that one's only worth like 300, 400 caps. The grenade launcher, on the other hand, look at this, not even half health, and it's 1,200. So. If you want to make some money and you find a couple of these, you can sell those. Uh, hunting rifle. Uh, this one's not a good example because it's got the hunting rifle scope on it, which adds to the value. But normal ones, about 1,200 in good shape, uh, 1,200 to 1,500. So uh, you can sell those because you know, if you don't have a lot of ammo in the beginning. A laser, uh, the laser RCW. Now this is the best one out of the laser weapons. Uh, this one's worth 1,200 and it's good shape. Um, laser rifle, on the other hand, is only worth 600 in good shape. So, if you want to make some good money, sell these. Or if you like that weapon or like laser weapons, keep those ones and fix them up and keep them. And sell the laser rifles instead. They don't have, I think, nearly as good. Yeah, their damage is better, but. Let's see, machete. Two pounds, worth 50. Uh, you find out the fiends have a bunch of these, pick them up, repair them, and they're worth good money for you. Missile launcher is probably one of my favorites of the heavy weapons. I mean, this one's 3,500 in good shape. Um, even when the ones you get in crummy condition are the ones you shoot out of people's hands and break, you can keep them. So, you know, collect them, get those, fix them all, repair, you know, use your repair skill and repair them all up, and you'll get a decent amount of caps from them, even if they're not in great condition. They still get like, you know, 15. 2,000 caps. Uh, see, so next here we got the plasma grenades, the best one on all of them, are the grenades, 300. Uh, not easy to find though, so you might want to keep them using the emergencies. Plasma rifle, uh, pretty good, you know, good condition here, eight, 840. These ones are not too hard to find, but you know, all based on preferences, I guess. Power fist, six pounds, eh, worth 400 in decent condition. Um, I don't use fists very much, so, yeah, sell them. Pulse grenades, yeah, yeah, pulse mines, both 40, sell them. You don't use them very often against robots. 
rebar club. This one, nine pounds worth 300. Eh, you know, sell it. I don't like that thing very much, anyways. It's a pain to use. Ripper, not easy to find, but you know, worth a good amount of caps in good condition. Now, this one's the weirdest one. In Fallout 3, the saw shotgun was worth nearly nothing. Um, uh, best condition in like even 120 caps. This game, on the other hand, look at this. It's not even at prime condition, and it's almost 900 caps. So don't pass that one up. Um, it's not a very good shotgun. I, I prefer, you know, the riot shotgun or the lever action. But for caps wise, pick these up, sell them. You know, don't pass them by. Sniper rifle, good money one, especially early on because you ammo, finding ammo for this thing is not easy. Spike knuckles. That's probably one of my favorites uh, for selling. Only worth, or it's worth uh, almost 450 caps. It only weighs a pound, so and fiends like to carry them. So pick them up, fix them up, trade them in. Super sledge. Good one to keep an eye out for when you're hunting mutants. Sledgehammers aren't worth that much, but the super sledge on the other hand is worth a lot. This one's in terrible condition, and it's 724 caps. So. You know, pick them up, fix them up, give them to your companion, make them carry them. Armor. Okay, we got combat armor here. Uh, this stuff is probably the best, it's for besides the power armor, of course. Power armor is worth a lot of money. But combat armor is the most wealth, or is worth the most in, in Fallout, I guess, as far as regular com or armor goes. Even metal and reinforced metal armor is not worth nearly as much combat armor. This is half, I mean, this is 50 percent condition and look at it, it's 2600 now if you want to go to a place and get a lot of combat armor to sell go up here where the boomers are and then there's two hangers here and there's lots of lockers to say armor lockers on them and they have lots of combat armor I made 20,000 caps in there alone just from their armor now the other thing is vault suits now they're only a pound and there can be there's lots of vaults to find so you know go out there and collect them because there's a lady here, down here in Vault 21 on the strip, who wants to buy them? She pays a lot more money than they're actually worth. So if you go collect a good amount of them, you know you can make some cash. A couple hundred, you know, at least five, six hundred per ten, I think, or twenty. And they don't weigh much, so you know that's that's good income. All right, well, let's see. Well, most of the things you can pick in the wild are worth a good amount of money. Coca Cola is worth a lot. Uh, sunsets, but sarsaparilla is only worth um, three. So you know, drink those and sell the Nuka Colas if you're not going to use them for crafting or whatever. Vodka is the best out of the drinks. Uh, it only weighs one pound and it's worth twenty. So get those, sell those, good money. Oops, not bad. Miscellaneous bark scorpion glands. These are the best. They're thirty-five per, and they only weigh one pound. And bark scorpions are wusses, so you know, go out and kick their butts and collect their glands. And right here, down here, in Hidden Valley, this is where the uh, the Brotherhood of Steel are. They have bark scorpions all around them, and they spawn daily. So go there and collect theirs. They're the best ones, as far as uh, easy kills and easy money. Like I said, they respawn daily, so just keep going and farming them. Uh, there we go. Cigarettes, things like these, they weigh nothing, and they're way they're worth one, you know, one credit. So collect them and sell them. You know, they weigh nothing, so why not pick them up? And a hundred of them is a hundred caps. All right. Sensor modules, conductors, fission batteries, also really good. They're uh, they weighs a little different, you know. They weigh they weigh a bit, so. They don't pay off nearly as well, but still good money makers. So there you go. Um, That's it for my first video. Uh, I hope this was informative for you guys, and uh, you know I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I look forward to making more for you guys.